My name is Asal Nasei. I lead the satellite technologies branch here at the Space Dynamics Lab Civil Space uh, Division. And today I want to talk about uh, our small satellite capabilities with you. Space Dynamics Lab is a university affiliated research center that's owned by Utah State University and, and was founded in 1959 here in Northern Utah. As part of our uh, UR core competencies, uh, we have uh, sensors and supporting technologies, small satellites, as well as sensor calibration and testing. We have been hosting the Small Satellite Conference here in Logan, Utah, every August since 1987. Currently, we are involved in over 40 small satellite programs in uh, four civil as well as military missions which uh, can uh, be anywhere from a nano satellite to ESPA and ESPA uh, Grande class spacecraft. We have strong heritage when it comes to small satellites as well as sensor systems. We are a trusted agent of the government. We offer full life cycle support and we are a one-stop shop with uh, providing high reliability buses. When it comes to a pro, a high reliability small satellites, uh, we know it's, they are different from a traditional educational grade small satellites. Uh, for us, uh, the mission uh, um, success uh, is more important than the cost, but at the same time, it doesn't mean that we approach every uh, mission as a class A mission, because cost still matters, and that's the reason we go to, or to small satellite buses. But the mission is still the primary focus and trying to find the right engineering solution for every customer is what we um, uh, try to ach uh, achieve. And the primary difference in the designs is going from uh, a, a dif uh, between different classes as well as different uh, uh, reliabilities. It's the level of systems engineering, design rigor and testing that, that we put in each program. We uh, uh, provide full life cycle support, all the way from mission planning and development uh, to uh, reliable engineering solutions and designing a spacecraft to fabrication and AI and T, and then later on on orbit operations after launch. It's, uh, we are a full service engineering solution provider and have all the necessary uh, um, facilities and resources to support a small satellite or a payload through all the different mission phases. And we have played major roles in many small sat programs and have a deep understanding of requirements and have the ability to carefully design, build, test small spacecraft hardware and software and perform integration testing and deployment and on orbit operations. We are an ISO 9001 certified organization and are, we can tailor our mission assurance processes for the different classes from A through class D missions. Um, we uh, have expertise that uh, go from uh, systems engineering to electrical, mechanical, optical engineering and our technical solutions that we offer when we are designing the mission, designing the spacecraft, often exceed the mission requirements. We offer uh, small satellite buses from one to 200 or even more, depending on uh, how much propulsion we need on board, kilogram uh, spacecraft. We have a, a spacecraft platform called Perl that's a modular architecture to provide flexibility and adaptability and uh, we do provide customized one-of-a-kind components, including uh, command and data handling uh, for the payload, as well as the spacecraft, power systems, communications, camera systems, structures, and mechanisms. We are a one-stop shop. Once the design is done, we have the manufacturing facilities and uh, to uh, build all the uh, different uh, spacecraft components that are, we are not buying from the vendors. We have the integration facilities, clean rooms, high base to integrate the spacecraft and later on the sensors and the air payload with the spacecraft. We have uh, calibration, environmental, and functional testing uh, facilities all here on uh, the SDL campus. 
we have a, a, a state-of-the-art machine shop that uh, as well as an electronic assembly lab that will give us uh, the uh, ability to control the cost and schedule and we have a NASA certified uh, trainers on staff and all our staff are trained to NASA workmanship standards. When it comes to environmental testing, uh, we have it all. The wipe slip table, thermal vacuum taste uh, chambers in different sizes, all the way up to eight feet uh, diameter chambers that go from uh, minus 269 to 150 degree uh, uh, Celsius temperature range. And uh, we uh, can provide outgassing diagnostics. We do have a semi anechoic chamber for EMI EMC testing. And we also have very strong collaboration uh, between uh, Space Dynamics Lab and Utah State University uh, Material Physics. And overall, between the two organizations, we have 25 plus years research in material physics of spacecraft charging. We have investigated material changes due to space exposure. Uh, we have a, a collaborative development of space uh, survivability test facility and an uh, ion optics lab um, as well. When it comes to functional testing, we do uh, believe in the test like you fly, flight like you test. Uh, um, mantra and we uh, have capabilities to test the different uh, subsystems as well as the whole spacecraft uh, and uh, measure their mass properties, test the power systems, ADCS, GPS and communication uh, uh, subsystems. When it's time to, and the spacecraft is delivered, uh, we can also provide on orbit operations. We have an on-site highly automated mission operations center that's modular, scalable, and cloud compatible. We have access to worldwide antenna networks, including the MC3 network, AFSCN, KSAT, AWS, and we have the capabilities to integrate with other uh, ground station networks as well. And we also have the ability to support end-to-end over-the-air compatibility testing prior to launch. We have been a partner on many NASA PI-led missions, starting with the proposal, a step one proposal, then going to a step two, if there is a step two, all the way through mission operations. As an example, HARP, which is the hyperangular rainbow polarimeter, a 3U CubeSat that's currently on orbit was deployed from uh, the International Space Station in February of 2020. One, the AIAA a Small Satellite uh, Mission of the Year Award in 2020, and it's uh, producing results um, uh, as we speak. And uh, we also have Sunrise, the Sun Radio Interferometer Space Experiment. That is a heliophysics uh, small mission of opportunity. Um, and um, Phase B actually started uh, very recently, and we are going to build six, uh, six U cube sets that are going to go into a, 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 sun, a super synchronous geostationary orbit. And not only we uh, develop a spacecraft and uh, the uh, uh, command and data handling and power system and batteries for the spacecraft, but we also uh, manufacture uh, uh, the IRIS uh, Deep Space Network compatible uh, radio that we have licensed from JPL. Uh, it's an expand uh, uplink and downlink capable radio where uh, we are working on uh, adding uh, S and KA band features to it. And uh, uh, we are currently uh, supporting all the Artemis One missions, uh, and we continue working on enhancement and adding features. Other than small satellites, sensors and sensor systems are part of our core competencies. We have over 50 years of sensor uh, experience, and 
with uh, sensor systems development for both civil and military applications, all the way from ultraviolet through uh, infrared, hyperspectral, uh, SAR, and LIDAR. OSIRIS-X mission. We built the detector assemblies uh, and uh, we're very uh, excited about the surface sample collection that uh, happened on October 20th. And uh, here you can see the image uh, that was uh, uh, produced by the cameras that SDL built. We also designed and built the payload on the WISE mission uh, for focal planes and uh, the, the WISE mission was launched in 2009 and was reactivated as NEOWISE uh, uh, afterwards uh, to survey near-Earth objects. We are working on building the uh, shortwave infrared detection assembly for the ocean color instruments for uh, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. The uh, ETU was delivered in March and the launch of the whole mission is scheduled for late 2022. We are also working on uh, developing the relative calibration system for the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. We uh, developed a Hermes um, a high resolution mid infrared spectrometer that uh, started flying in 2019. We also developed uh, the FAR uh, UV uh, imaging spectrograph that's uh, currently on orbit uh, on the, uh, as part of the ICON mission. And then our atmospheric waves experiment is one of our uh, heliophysics uh, missions that uh, our PI is from the Utah State University and we are the mission uh, manager as well as the uh, payload uh, developer for uh, this uh, NASA mission. We also have uh, capabilities uh, um, and world-class facilities when it comes to sensor testing and calibration. And we also develop uh, multiple different types of uh, small uh, 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 thermal straps. And we have decades of space flight heritage all the way from James Webb Space Telescope to the mighty on the ICON mission to Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. We have nearly uh, more than basically 60 years of space flight heritage. When you understand uh, the space environment, contamination control, optical calibration, full system life cycles, and have executed missions for nearly six decades, we, you approach design, manufacturing, assembly, and testing from a position of experience. And that's it. Thank you for your time. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or you are thinking about proposing to a NASA opportunity.